Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. So Halloween is coming up in only a few days, and I'm really excited to dress up and get candy. Anyways, do you need fake blood for your Halloween costume? Well, in this video, I will be showing you the best recipe for fake blood there is. This recipe for fake blood is the best in my opinion because not only does it look real, but it's completely edible and it tastes good. There are so many recipes for edible fake blood, but this is the best tasting one in my opinion. So even if it's not going to be part of your costume, it also makes a great Halloween treat. Now I'm going to show you how to make it. First, let's go through what you're going to need. You're going to need a bowl and spoon, of course. You're going to need a little bit of water. And the last thing you'll need is red powdered drink mix. I couldn't find red powdered drink mix, so I got pink powdered drink mix. Pink lemonade powder to be exact. And I'm going to use red food coloring to make it red. Do not use Jello or gelatin mix because it will gel up due to the gelatin inside of it and not make the blood consistency you're looking for. It has to be a drink mix. Now let's get into the recipe. First, put as much powdered drink mix as you want fake blood into the bowl. Next, add spoonfuls of water to the bowl and mix until you have a thick but runny mixture. If anything, you want less water than drink mix. This is the consistency you want. It's thick, but, but it drips like blood. As you can see, this is pink, not red. So I'm going to add red food coloring until I get a nice blood red color. If you're using red drink mix, it should automatically be the perfect red color. Now that it's red, I'm going to put this aside and let it sit for a good several hours, preferably overnight. What you want is for the granules from the drink mix to dissolve and turn into a syrup. Be careful not to attract bugs, though. After that, your edible fake blood is ready. You can use it however you want, whether you're wearing it with your costume or you're serving it at a Halloween party. One way you could use it is putting it on your face and letting it drip down. Look, I have a bloody nose. Be careful though, because this fake blood can get pretty sticky. If there are bugs in your area, I would not recommend doing this. Another thing you can do is put this fake blood in shot glasses and serve them at a Halloween party. Maybe you can even make this with alcohol instead of just water and have actual shots. And the best part is, it tastes good. The only thing is, it's very sugary. So be very careful when eating it and don't eat too much of it. Well, I hope you give this recipe a try and I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Thank you for watching and happy Halloween! Bye!